I love the uh, opening of the portal, though. Seriously. Let's go. Can I get in there, please? That was supposed to be cool. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky Origin Series with Survival Bob. Hope you enjoy this one. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Ooh. Hostile system. Atlas Protocol, 16. Oh no! You called? Hey. How's it going? Um, yeah. Um, before I approach, do you mind if I grab your balls? That one? And that one, I find them very, uh, generous. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Ask who this is. Say hello. Hello. Hello, world. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interference grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Perform diagnostic. Wipe the system. I just got here, so let's check your diagnostics first. It has been uh, 19,462,189. No, nope, I missed that. That's trillion. Trillion, billion, million stuff. Uh, but we're missing a number at the end. Weird. Years since the last diagnostic, 64% of worlds operating within expected parameters. It's better than half. 2 million actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine Sentinel. Status error. Null value. Subroutine glass. Status operational, 4,100 breach attempts. Subroutine traveler, status operational, 458 critical error warnings. Exo mind, structural integrity compromised, immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface. Uh, yeah, let's interface our personalities. Traveler, yes, Atlas. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to scream, rejoice, submit. Um, I need to rejoice. I try to rejoice, but I have no body, no spirit. Well, that's not cool. Bye. Where am I? Locate your starship. It's a nice planet, looks like. Uh, Sentinel's frequent. Exosuit initialization in process. Locate your starship.
Well, this looks familiar. Distress beacon. Scenario iteration deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis fresh iteration genera. Tom anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. This is exactly what it says in the beginning, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Uh, so now we start over. We lost everything. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. How about I throw that on the ground? <laughs> Apparently I'm full of shit. Why well, you gotta be breaking my stuff, dude? Better check my multi-tool. Nope, nothing broke there. Oh, I think they do that just so you can't call your ship to you. Locate and board your ship. Done. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through the gateway? Why did I follow this path? Uh, to rescue Artemis, to kill Sentinels, because I can. I tell myself that I do all this because I can, that I do not really care about Artemis or about Sentinels. Perhaps this is true, perhaps I need no higher purpose. I mean, I'm not saying I don't care about Artemis, but, you know. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from the location on this very planet. You are not alone. I know. The signal appears to be coming from this very system using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? Pretty sure. Coordinates received. I'll be, I'll be right there in a second. I just want to. I gotta. I gotta tickle this little pole here. It's all alone. Just needs a little tickle from Bob. Very nice. Right. What's up, Artemis? I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis. But there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask who is there. Ask if they are alright. Are you okay? If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. 
Um, where are you, bro? As I move closer, Artemis, the Artemis projection begins to speak, the words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the gzzzt. The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. Oh, he did not like that. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are called them, but they still beloved. Wait. Where are called them, but still beloved. Anomaly. They kzzzt nada, kzzzt polo, watching us, kzzzt tracking. Kzzzt mistake, kzzzt abandoned, but it wasn't through the portal, kzzzt please, don't trust, kzzzt, kzzzt. Really? That's, who, who, I don't trust, kzzzt. So, we're good. I'm afraid, aren't? Uh, it's okay, they're there. The projection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitch data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I've seen. Well, that's not cool. Can I, can I touch this again? No. All right. Hey, um, I've got some news. Artemis is dead. Uh, explain the portal. I explained my journey through the portal, my vision of the strange world on the other side. Now I awoke a long way from my ship. Nada looks at me with concern. Traveler, your journey was longer than you might realize. Portals have much in common with our home. Their travel is anomalous. But you are unharmed, yes? You feel complete? You feel not crimson? Well, you know. I do not feel crimson. Yes. Nada is pleased. Our old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas falsity against themselves. Okay. Oh, thanks for the Quicksilver. What's up, Polo? How's it going? How are you? Are you hungry? This is a customary greeting for an old friend. Yes, I guess. I told Nada you would be fine, traveler friend. Poor Nada. Do not get nervous. Uh, uh, what's up with the strange worlds? One such planets did not exist. Could not be seen, but now, every second more appear, they seep through a new creation. I do not know where these new worlds come from. What lies beyond our boundaries, I do not think I will ever know. But they are exciting to see, yes. I think it was that last update where the new planets got here, but I don't know. Back to the house. I got some balls for you. Hey, buddy, over here. What's up? Yep, have a ball. Thank you. There you go. Nailed it. There you go. Star Bramble.
Hey dude, I'm back. Here's some star bulb. Mordite. Check. Don't have any more night. Uh, here we go. There we go. What's up? Here's the Mordite. All right, thanks, brother. Appreciate you. I wasn't really paying attention. I hope that wasn't anything important. You, do you still want to talk some more? I'm I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. Okay. Farmer appears to be refusing to leave despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. They spend their days tending my crops no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. Smile. Tolgek smiles back, happy to be among their plants. Alright. We'll get to work. Do something productive. Harvest everything we can while we're here. That frost crystal does grow pretty fast. All right, Overseer, what's up, my friend? Did you enjoy your adventure? Your expedition to find our orb? I have awaited for you faithfully. There's something about the way specialist Ernie speaks that for all their kind words suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. Are you resenting, Bob? That's not cool. If they wouldn't have come to work here if we were enemies, of course not. We are friends. The Overseer asked for the Gravitino Ball so they can finish their Starship technology. Here you go. As ever, I am so grateful for your assistance, friend. Thank you. I don't want to put that in right now, if that's okay with you. Have you ever wondered what happens after death between expiration and rebirth? Meditate upon annihilation. Harvest Mordite from the dead. It is the only way to escape. Since the Overseer arrived, I have had a recurring dream, a nightmare that feels like a memory. Flesh merged with metal, a world of glass that blinks. A planet with green skies and an obsidian moon, a dream where I see my grave. As I snap back to reality, there is a moment before I can shake the image that wound on the world lingered before my eyes. The overseer asked me to harvest Mordite, a material found in the bodies of slain creatures. Okay. No worries. Bob can kill stuff. How much do I need? Gather Mordite. How much? I think I got some in here. 100 do it? saved Mr. Peeper's life. Have you any memories of the blink between cycles, the brief infinity between life and rebirth? I doubt it, friend, if you do. I do not know what to make of Specialist Ernie's question, but they know my answer already. I feel and are not interested in what I have to say. Uh, whatever, bro. The Overseer studies me, a look of intense concentration upon their face. I should leave them be. All right. This is my place, though. It says I'm supposed to return to you. I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen the world as you see it. I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward me for my actions. Well, here's the Mordite. Here, take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. Okay. Exocraft Terminal. Excellent. And a crappy plasma launcher module. All right, so we've got the Exocraft. I've got one more dite left. 
Oh well. We've got the Exocraft module. Guys, I think that's going to do it. We'll, we'll go work on the Exocraft stuff next time. We'll work a little bit more on farming. We maybe will farm some in the ship. We'll build some stuff there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, continue to progress the quest line. We've got to finish up the armorer. He's going to call the Sentinels in. we got to shoot the Sentinels. we still got lots to do. we got to travel to the center. All kinds of good stuff. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, you smash the like button. You give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much, guys. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And um, hmm. if, uh, if your overseer gets mouthy, you can always fire him and get a new one. Remember, he works for you. Don't put up with his crap. No, no, no. This one? No. This one. Don't put up with his crap. You say, no, 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 Mr. Overseer. You can suck it. This is Bob's house. We'll see you next time, guys.